We're still at home and the first step to determine Western Cape Premier Helen Ziller's political future begins in earnest tomorrow. The embattled DA Premier will meet the party's Federal Legal Commission Chairperson Glennis Breitenbach for an extensive interview on her tweet regarding colonialism in Cape Town. An avid tweeter, but this time a massive public backlash. Ziller tweeted that health services road infrastructure and piped water had been colonial assets. She later defended her tweets and warned of the dangers of the DA adopting the ANC's policy of racial nationalism to get votes. Zile maintains that although colonialism was evil, not every consequence was negative. It's a very simple process. It's a normal investigation. The matter has been revert, referred for an investigation. I'm... Uh, to determine whether or not the constitution of the federal constitution of the Democratic Alliance has been breached. Uh, I'm busy with the, with the investigation and uh, speaking to Mozilla as a part of that investigation. The DA seems divided. Some want her gone, while others are defending her infamous tweet. The Federal Legal Commission is, is a, a, an independent structure within the Democratic Alliance, and our job is to... Uh, apply the federal constitution and, and that's what we do. Uh, opinions of, of people are not relevant to that process. Political observers believe the party may opt for damage control rather than proper disciplinary measures. I think the DA would hesitate to remove one of their biggest vote catchers but very clearly they need to ensure a procedure that never again can she write on Twitter without it first being cleared by her professional media and public relations staff. She's before this also said one or two things on Twitter which she would never say in speeches or in writing articles for newspapers. So there does seem to be a need for a procedure to prevent this ever happening again. Saturday's interview with Breitenberg is seen as possibly the most crucial of her political career. The party is caught between a rock and a hard place. Manilisi Tubase, SABC News, Parliament.